Come on, girl. Show. Show. My goodness. No Gretchen? I win. Gretchen's never late, so she must be absent. At last, I've demonstrated true savvy. One pack of winger dingers, please. What? Been Bobula. When will I ever learn? Oh, sorry I'm late. You win. What was I thinking? Gretchen never misses school. Never doubted her for a second. I was answering Mr. Wood's questions about ionic bonding, and I'm afraid I lost track of time, Miss Grokey. I'm sorry too, Gretchen, but just the same. I'm going to have to enter this in your permanent record. <gasps> Not Gretchen. She's the finest of us all. I take full responsibility for my tardiness, and I apologize for any delay it may have caused my classmates in their efforts to learn. Morning, people. TJ, is there something you'd like to tell the rest of the class? Oh, yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Justin. Justin who? Just in time for class. <laughs> Such a clever boy. Uh, take your seats. Good old TJ can get away with just about anything. Yes, good old TJ. Seeing as I'm one penny short, I'll just swap this chocolate milk for a regular. Calcium's calcium, right? Whatever floats your boat, kid. I don't have any money, ma'am, but I do have my marker. Don't worry, there's a whole pad more where that came from. <laughs> Good old TJ. Indeed. Snazzy day. How about every day is snazzy to me, TJ? Yeah, the snazziest. Grundler, is that gum in your mouth? Well, technically, yes, but you see, it's a prototype gum substitute. I developed it myself. Though very chewy, it is in no way sticky, and therefore... Therefore, it's still gum. I'm assigning you to garbage detail for the rest of the week. Oh, and I suggest you bring gloves. Yes, ma'am. Not so fast, Detweiler. I know you're packing a wad. Open up and spit it out. Okay, Miss Finster, it's true. But you see, it's prescription gum. Oh, I can't make head or tail of this chicken scratch. He must be an excellent dentist. He says I have early stage ginger something. Gingivitis? Why, that's the most insidious disease known to mouth. Now listen to me, TJ. If you want to grow up to have healthy teeth and gums like mine, just do as your dentist says and chew that gum. In fact, if I catch you and you're not chewing gum, it'll make Grundler here think she's lucky. Now, what's that over there? You don't really have ginger something, do you, Teach? No, Gus. That was just a little something I had tucked away for emergencies. Whew. That kind of gamesmanship parches a fella. Water fountain, here I come. Good old TJ does it again. Ginger something. Okay, class. Everyone is going to be assigned a partner to work with on a project for Ancient Civilizations Week. Ancient Civilization? Like back when Finster was a kid? <laughs> Actually, TJ, we're going to go back thousands of years, not hundreds. <laughs> okay, the partners are Vincent Gus, Spinelli and Mikey, Gordy and Phil, Gretchen and TJ. No! Gretchen, is there a problem? Miss Grokey, would it be possible for me to have a different, uh, different, um, pencil? <laughs> Here you go, partner. Take mine. It's never been used. TJ's displaying good teamwork already. Yes, good old TJ. That's just my bad old luck. Why so heavy on the book, Scratch? We have to do research so we can successfully explore the topic and come up with a unique idea on which to focus. That's great, Gretch, but we don't have to do any of that research stuff. We don't have to do research? Nah. I already got a great project all figured out. All we need are some sweet supplies and 20 minutes. Tops. I don't know. We'll be better off with a project that requires real work. Since I know you like tools, I thought a project demonstrating the irrigation of ancient Mesopotamia might be just our ticket. Irritation of Mesa who? Irrigation of ancient Mesopotamia. It was the cradle of civilization. Oh yeah, back when civilization was a baby. Look, TJ, I have an abundance of material to get through, so if you don't mind... Okay, Gretch, but I'm telling you, I got a project that just can't fail. Well, I'm gonna read about this just in case. Try not to make too much noise. Okay. This gladiator stuff lit. How's the ancient Roman poetry coming, Mikey? Like all poetry, gently and beautifully. Wow, the ancient Greeks developed geometry. Maybe we should do something about that. Maybe when we're in 10th grade and we actually know what geometry is. Hi, Gretch. Where's Teach? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm glad you all think this is funny. From my side of the fence, it truly whops. Correct. Take it easy. No reason to use the W word on TJ. We've all had him as a partner. Spinelli's right. We've all been there. It's your turn is all. Really? Yeah. One time, TJ was my buddy for the nature hike. Instead of hiking, TJ figured it would be more fun just to hang out in the meadow. We were supposed to bring back something from the walk, so TJ just said, no sweat, and he grabbed a rock. 
Did you find that you had a wild and furious anger boiling up inside of you? No, because instead of a rock, it turned out to be an Indian artifact. It was the best time I've ever had outdoors. In second grade, TJ was my partner for Hamster Watch. After about five minutes, TJ gets bored, throws it about a hunk of lettuce, and invites me into the cubby room to swap baseball cards. Did his lack of responsibility have you scheming for a way out of your partnership? No, I mean, we should have been watching Hampy, but we ended up catching the cubby room culprit instead. Just a misguided kindergartner, but everyone got their stuff back thanks to Teach. Back in third grade, TJ was my tag team partner for vocab words. We were supposed to look up words and write them down with their definitions. TJ didn't feel like looking stuff up. Aha! Uh -huh. Did his blatant disregard for the assignment frustrate you to the point of snapping like a loon? Not exactly. I did the assignment and TJ just made up some words and gave them definitions. We ended up getting extra credit for being creative. <laughs> Good old Teach. So you guys didn't get upset with TJ? Heck no. TJ was just being TJ. Yeah, Gretch. And with your smarts and TJ's style, you're looking at the easiest project you've ever done. You know something, Spinelli? You might just have a point. Why am I fighting the charm, the verve, the unmitigated moxie that is TJ Detwell? You can't do it. It can't be done. My friends, this time around, I'm going to do the smart thing. This has got to win the Design a Bad Guy for Senior Fusion Contest. Hmm, very clever. So, TJ, what exactly is this idea of yours for our class project? I knew you'd come around. See, all we gotta do is make a pyramid out of sugar cubes. You know, like in olden days. But then, we'll stick an army man inside it. Hmm, army man. Not of the same period, but interesting. Come on, Gretch. It's sugary sweet. You're looking at the easiest project you've ever done. I like it. Bronze, Spartacus! And through the long day she showed, this gladiatoress was no runt. Some s s some s s s sunt. Excellent use of the Latin story poem form. Bravo! Okay, let's keep it going. TJ and Gretchen, you're up next. Our project is an uh, interpretation of ancient architecture. Our version is loosely based on the ancient people and stuff. Behold the mighty pyramid! Huh? <gasps> Is, um, that it? Well, our army man didn't melt. I see. Minimal pass. All right, the passing streak continues. Not your best effort, Gretchen, but you slid by. Miss Grokey, I wish I... I... Goodbye, cruel research. Gretchen, I just want to say sorry I let you down. As a partner and a friend. I guess I forgot how much grades and stuff mean to you. It's over, TJ. Our project, our partnership, and my flawless grade point average. Please, I'd like to be alone. Gretch, wait! Hey, your notebook. Poor Gretchen. That's the lowest grade she's ever gotten. Man, what was I thinking? I wish there was some way I could make it up to her. Look at this stuff. All the work she put into doing a good project. Hey, Sporto, you got it upside down. Even more impressive. Guys, I think I know what I have to do. Huh? I'll see you all tomorrow, if I make it through tonight. I'd like to congratulate you on yesterday's projects. I think we made a lot of progress with teamwork. Miss Grokey? Yes, TJ? Do you need to visit the boys' room? No, Miss Grokey. I was just wondering if you'd allow me to present one more item about ancient civilization. Uh, I don't know. I think we've seen enough army men. No army men, I swear. Well, all right. But take it easy on my desk. Class, let's please give TJ our focus and energy. Are you in on this? I have no idea what TJ is up to. Gretchen and I had different ideas about what to present as a project. But since my idea kind of had a meltdown, I decided to go back and finish up the project Gretchen started on ancient Mesopotamia. <sighs> Those Mesopotamians were an amazing group of guys and gals. One of the big reasons they were able to put together such an early civilization was because of a little thing called irrigation. For those of you who don't know, irrigation is the process by which you can get water where you need it. Wow. Impressive. By digging trenches from the river to the farmland, they, uh, they are able to... They were able to farm large tracts of land simply and effectively because the water was carried to the fields by gravity simulated in this model by the water wheel. Right, TJ? Hi, Gretchen. Oh. The success of the farms allowed the Mesopotamians to establish permanent dwellings, which would eventually grow into the great city-states of Sumer. Right, partner? Right, partner. 
Wow! Based on this startling new report, I am revising Team Grimbler Detweiler's grave to an A. Oh, bye! Uh, thank you, Miss Grokey! Thank you! Yeah, thanks for reconsidering, Miss Grokey. Maybe you two should be teamed up more often. Gotta think about it, Good old TJ. <laughs>